Hello and welcome to a new AMS tutorial and today we're going to use the REACTS FF engine to do a molecular dynamic simulation of burning methane. So we're going to switch from ADF to REACTS FF. We're going to press edit, builder. We're going to remove the current one. We're going to change our lattice to 19 angstrom in every direction and we're going to fill our box with methane and with O2 and we're going to use 50 copies of methane and 125 copies of oxygen and then we can generate and here at the bottom it has a density of 1.1 six grams per milliliters. This is a quite a high density, but that's fine for our system because we want to burn quickly for the purpose of this tutorial. This is something to keep an eye on. And now we're going to generate molecules. There we go, in a nice box, we have 50 methane molecules and 125 oxygen molecules. Now we're going to set up our calculation. So we can go to close, then if you press on this button, it will direct you to the website where you can learn more about the force fields. For this force field, we will use uh, CHO, which is a force field for carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, and it's specialized in combustion, which is what we're doing in this simulation. And we're going to change it to 30,000 iterations. We're going to use a Newtonian chains method, and we're going to raise our temperature to three and a half thousand Kelvin. This nose Hoover thermostat yields better overall sampling results in general. The nose Hoover damping constant is dependent on the system size because ideally it should match the period of the internal oscillations of the system. In the present case, we stick with the default value of 100 femtoseconds, but one might want to test different values in realistic settings. That's what we're talking about the damping constant right here and the method we're using for regulating our temperature. Now we can run, and I'm going to save it as methane, save, and I'll come back to you guys when the calculation is finished. After we finish, we map the atom to the unit cell, and we can go to SCM movie to visualize what just happened. As you can see it all goes crazy. So now we're going to visualize a couple stuff. We can go to properties and temperature, and then it will pull up a graph of the temperature. We set it at three and a half thousand. It kind of fluctuated around there, which is fine. Okay, what's also very interesting is when we go to after it about 25,000, so let's go around here. We go to properties, molecule fractions. This is interesting, so now you can see H2O, 36. Do we have some CO2 molecules? Yeah, we do have six of them. So we can visualize them now. Yeah, so now you can see how many water molecules were present over the time of the simulation. You can do the same with the CO2 molecules, also increasing. And this one should be decreasing. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to see the CO2 molecules very clearly. We're going to close this and we're going to view molecule wire frame. And then we go to the curve that selects the CO2 production, which is blue. We click on this, and then we go view, molecule, balls and sticks. There we go, that's the CO2 molecules in our system. And you can also use view, fly to selection a couple times if you don't want to go through this process. That's it for this tutorial. Uh, if this tutorial was useful for you, please leave a like down below. Leave a comment to let us know what tutorial you would like to see next. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. And as always, take care.